Local News 4, NOAA is updating its hurricane season prediction. And our chief meteorologist Brad Panovich joining us now to break it all down. Let us know what the updates mean for us here in the Carolinas. Yeah, you know, it's been kind of a quiet season so far, but that's kind of normal. We've had three named storms so far this season, but the updated forecast from NOAA, not a huge change, a little downtick in the activity. 14 to 20 storms now likely. You could see this hurricane 6 to 10, but the previous was 6 to 10 as well. What's different is the major 3 to 5. Now we're looking at 3 to 5 uh, from earlier when we had about 3 to 6. So there's a little bit of a downtick in the overall forecast. But when you look at the overall names, we've already got three names off the list. Those happened really early in the season, but ever since then, it's been particularly quiet. And a lot of folks ask, why has it been so quiet? Well, a lot of reasons for it has been this Sahara dust layer, which is dust in the mid levels of the atmosphere that come off the Sahara Desert. When those are out in the tropics, it stabilizes the atmosphere. Atmosphere. As we get later in the season, that dust begins to wane a little bit and we anticipate an uptick in activity. In fact, Colorado State predicted that we'd have at least an 18% higher chance for North Carolina and a 14% chance higher than normal for South Carolina to be impacted by a hurricane. So it's still a long ways to go as we enter the peak of the season. Something about 85% of all storms have occurred after this date. So we still have a long ways to go before we start to see the season come to an end. Now the good news